Hey guys, Sujo here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. And you know, before getting into this, I want to just say happy holidays to everyone watching. Uh, you know, this year has been really rough, I know, for a lot of people, it's been terrible. Uh, let's hope 2021 is better, and I already know that 2021 is going to be the best year this channel has ever seen. Uh, you know, I haven't been uploading this whole year actually and I was like, when should I make my comeback? But you know, with the holiday season going on, the whole festive holiday season, Sujoy Gupta is back. And from this point on, I will be uploading videos in a set schedule. Haven't decided yet, we'll update you guys soon. Uh, maybe every week, maybe every two weeks. Let's see how it plays out. But you know, if you have not yet, please subscribe, tell your friends this is the best place for content for music. I'm coming out with new music next year, officially. Uh, I'm also going to be doing more tech, like this unboxing, and maybe, who knows, a PC build? We don't know. Um, and like comedy videos, lots of that coming to you soon. And if you, with that said, if you do like this video, please leave a like down below and comment. I really appreciate it. But yeah, uh, so the current graphics card I'm using is a GTX 1066 gigabyte. Uh, and with like me recording on this new Sony a6400 I got I don't know if you can tell the better quality or not but yeah I got a new camera and like you know gaming and all of that I need a uh, graphics card that could handle the current standards and I would say this is the perfect graphics card you know man the and Nvidia says this is faster than the 2080 super and we're gonna be seeing if that's true or not so like Without further ado, let's get back into the unboxing. So now that we've done the unboxing, let's talk a little bit about specs. So this Gigabyte 3060 Ti Eagle, 8 gigabytes, has a 1665 megahertz course clock. I, I know this is the same as the reference card, but you know, what can I do? Scalpers? I'm just lucky I got this card, you know? Um, CUDA cores, 4864. While the GTX 1060 had 1,280 CUDA cores. And this means this is gonna be a massive improvement in video editing. I should be able to edit 4K buttery smooth. Um, and then games, way more FPS than I could have had with the 1060. You know, ray tracing is here, while the GTX 1060 didn't have that. Uh, memory clock, 14,000 megahertz, while the GTX 1060 had a memory clock of 8,008 megahertz. There you go, much, much more speed right there. Memory size, eight gigabytes here, while the six gigabytes was on the GTX 1060. Two more gigabytes of RAM, that'll be great, you know, especially for editing, I love that. Uh, mem memory type, GDDR6, while the 1060 had GDDR5. Explains why, you know, newer generation, much more speed, much more capacity. Uh, memory bus, 256-bit, while the GTX 1060 had 192-bit. 
you know, there you go, better RAM. Memory bandwidth, 448 gigabytes per second, while the 1060 had 192.2 gigabytes per second. A massive, massive improvement there. This one also has RGB, while the 1060 didn't have RGB. The card bus is PCIe 4.0. You know, the 1060 was PCIe 3. Uh, I have a PCIe 3 motherboard, but you know, this card is backwards compatible, so it works. And if I ever Im upgrade my motherboard, it'll be good there. So those are some specs right there. You know, if you want to see video of performance, I'll link some YouTubers down below. You know, after unboxing the RTX 3060 Ti, uh, I would just like to say that it looks amazing in my case with the blue fans and the teal color that I've chosen for the actual GPU, the motherboard and the RAM. It really fits the vibe of my wallpaper, I would say, and I'm happy this comes with RGB so I can select any of the colors at any time. Um, and after hearing those specs, I'm pretty sure you guys realize that the performance of this card is amazing for the price point of just $399. And I just wish that everyone could get it because of the dumb scalpers out there. You know, it's more or less of a Christmas for them. Uh, obviously, I wasn't scalping. I just got lucky on Newegg to purchase this. So because of that, I can't really include uh, a product link for you to buy. But I will include it from the Gigabyte website so you can see the specs of it and everything like that. So with that said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below and leave a comment or something. I appreciate it. And, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. The road to 1000 subscribers has officially started. And I will see you guys next time.